Cannot be a GoPro. GoPro's still going. Everything's still low key tethered. GoPro's still rolling. Mm-hmm. But this one is really cool. It's blunt. Take two. Three either way. Four minutes and eleven seconds. Got it. What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Lou Martinez, AKA Big Chief Burrito. And today we're gonna bring you an episode of something that I'm calling Ed Wood Film School. Cut to the graphic. That dope ass graphic is courtesy of Oh, the GoPro, I'm sorry. That, all right, I get it, GoPro. That is a dope-ass graphic, courtesy of Paul Jarrett at filmforfood.tv. So, why should you care who Ed Wood was or what he was about? Well, if you're starting off making movies, it's plain as day. He's the original guerrilla filmmaker, indie filmmaker. In the 1950s, he was doing stuff and making movies about topics nobody was touching. And he was doing it in a quick, fast way and just getting shit done. He would shoot on a shoestring budget, use props that were left over from other movies, take advantage of uh, things that were available to him, right? So we always say, take advantage right to your strengths. So he would have friends on movie lots and find older uh, props that weren't being used. Um, He would get people that were not necessarily actors, but in those days, influencers wrestlers, uh, announcers, celebrities that weren't necessarily actors or actresses, and he would put them in his films. Before there was Tommy Wiseau, there was Ed Wood. Tommy Wiseau got famous because he sucked at making movies. Ed Wood kind of did the same thing. In the 1950s, he made movies like Plan 9, From Outer Space, Bride of the Monster, uh, Glenn or Glenda. In the 1950s, an exploration of transphobia of you know coming to grips with it yourself, uh, a guy that you know would get off on wearing women's clothing, and in that time, out of left field, that somebody in 1950s would make a movie with that as a topic. He was called the worst director of all time, and he won an award for that. And then his films took on a life of their own as a cult following. They made fun of them or sort of worshipped them in a weird way in uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000, and. Then later on, Tim Burton picked up the subject based on a a book that was written about him and he wrote and uh, directed the film, Ed Wood. One of my favorite movies, obviously. And ever since then, I became obsessed with him as a director and the things that he did and kind of how that, like I said, encompasses the indie spirit that we strive for here. There's a specific scene in Ed Wood, the movie, where, and I always reference it, um, they're filming something where a wrestler who played a villain is walking through a doorway and it's a poorly constructed set and he bumps the doorway on his way out the door and the whole set shakes. Um, And he said, great, cut, perfect, let's do it. And they ask him, well, why, you know, you bump through the door? And his response is, well, in, in real life, he would have problems walking through that door almost every day such a big guy so that spoke to me on a cellular level so what does that mean that means that he did he care did he not care um or did you just want to make his movies you know there's there's a certain level of what are you comfortable with on a set when you're the director specifically and somebody will come to you maybe they're maybe you have a continuity person on set maybe you don't have enough money to do a continuity person on set but maybe one of your friends is there and you sort of tell them Hey, Joey, you know, let's call him Joey Bag of Donuts. Say, hey, Joey Bag of Donuts, keep an eye out. Make sure that the cigarette is the same length when we do the different takes. Make sure that the drinks are filled to the same level. He's gonna tell you, hey man, he had his glasses off in the first thing, and then you're gonna be like, fuck. He had his fucking glasses off. Now we have to fucking shoot the whole thing again. Continuity is gonna determine how guerrilla your guerrilla films are. At some point, if you need to keep moving and you need to keep shooting, you're gonna say, it's okay. Don't say I'll fix it in post, because I'll punch you in the face. But 
there's you if you make that decision on set about not going back and getting one for safety or not paying attention to the person that's telling you the continuity is off and soft. You shot then, you made your bed, didn't you? Now you gotta go there and take a nice little nap in it. You know, lay down, get your little pillow. You know, you made, you made a little bed for yourself. Now you're gonna sit there and you're gonna sleep in it. So that's your choice. But from Ed Wood's perspective, you know, this is a big guy, he's walking through a doorway. It's completely plausible that he would bump into it. You know, with the entire house shake, maybe. Depends on how big it is, you know? Maybe he's on Weight Watchers. But that's the spirit that sort of in, in, in embodied his films. You also, he was the first guy that, well, not the first guy, but he had the two high plates stuck together with a little string, and those were the little, little alien ships. Like, it didn't matter. He would use stock footage, just random stock footage of Buffalo going, armies, he would use everything that he had access to to make those movies. Now, this is 1950. You know, he didn't have a DSLR, he didn't have a GH5, he didn't have a pocket black magic camera, he didn't have a lens kit. You know, he had film cameras that sometimes he borrowed, sometimes he stole. He had budgets from churches and other institutions that he would lie to in order to get money to make a movie. Um, and he would get it done. He would premiere movies in theaters and people would hate them, but he got the shit done. So it's somebody that I admire incredibly um, when I was starting my career and somebody that I still admire today. You know, whatever he went to do after that, you can Google it. But um, it doesn't negate the fact that as an inspiration for just going out there and making a movie, it, it can't get better than Ed Wood. So I completely suggest that you go watch Plan 9 from Outer Space. I think Glenn or Glenda's on YouTube and uh, Bride of the Monster. Those are your three starters right there. And if you don't want to get into it that deeply, then watch Ed Wood, the Tim Burton movie, and you'll pretty much get the gist of what it is, that why he's an important person and why he's like a <clears throat> ironic hero to filmmakers like myself. Which brings me to another point, movies that are so bad that they're good, right? Is Plan 9 from Outer Space a movie that's so bad that it's good? Um, the current version of that would be The Room, Tommy Wiseau. Hey, Tommy Wiseau, let's make a movie. Where is Tommy Wiseau from? Did we ever figure that out? The guy wears like eight belts and he shoots in digital and on film? I don't know. Um, so The Room is so bad it's good, but is it possible to make a movie on purpose bad so that people think it's good? Or do you have to just be a bad filmmaker and get lucky? Because I don't think Tommy Wiseau was on purposely making a masterpiece, an unintentional comedy. I think he was trying to make that movie and to him he took it deadly serious it just so happened to be he was bad at making movies. And the result, though technically horrible, is something that people enjoy watching. So bad it's good. But should you try to make a movie that's so bad it's good? Or should you work your ass off and actually make a good movie? Don't shoot for that. Just try to make something simple and good within your budget within the capacity of the people that are going to support you and around you and as always to what is available to you that you can control so what are some tips for beginning filmmakers that want to follow in ed wood's footsteps um, if you're going to gorilla something really map it out get a skeleton crew and make it a place that you're familiar with check schedules for the locations you're trying to gorilla and absolutely, positively, be safe, okay? If you wanna shoot a conversation scene with two people riding a trolley, number one, your audio is gonna be atrocious, uh, but number two, that's fine. Or maybe you just want some moody footage of a guy riding a bus and you're just gonna sit there with your little nifty 50 and just get some cool shots of them, that's fine. But don't try to gorilla a bank shootout or a carjacking or an execution 
or anything that's related to weaponry or guns. That's like the number one no-no. And we hear about it all the time that people get arrested during a competition shoot because they were shooting with uh, fake guns and the cops roll up and the entire production gets held up for like two or three hours while you have to talk to the cops. Nobody wants to talk to the cops. No guns outside with your guerrilla shooting. If you're gonna use guns outside in a public place, you better have a permit and you better inform all the neighbors outside and you better have sandwich boards or something up that says this is a movie set on premise, this is happening. That's the one thing you can't be cheap about. Don't fuck with the safety of your actors. Don't fuck with the safety of your crew, please. Just take care of your actors, take care of your crew, but get out there and make the damn movie, man. That's what it's about. Whether you have a cell phone, whether you have a DSLR, or whether you have an old school eight millimeter camera with some film stock that you found, go make a movie. More tips will follow, but I just wanted to drop this video real quick to kind of get everybody in on what it is, what it's about, and to really give a shout out to Ed Wood. We had an homage to Ed Wood in our kind of sci-fi comedy uh, alien story where there's an alien manifesto titled District, District Plan, Plan 9, 9 from, outer, from space. outer Space. What I... All right, I'm being told that that was actually an intern who wrote that on top as a joke. Good one. Which is a shout out to District 9 and Ed Wood from Plan 9 from Outer Space in a combined hybrid homage. Big cranium over here, gentlemen. Check out the homage link below and watch our sci-fi comedy alien story. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in the Ed Wood Film School category. And let me know uh, what you thought about this one and what kind of topics you want us to cover. What about indie filmmaking do you want to know more about? As always, your boy Big Cheap Burrito, Kenny behind the camera. <laughs>